in the last video about GIS tool dissolve we saw that there is a requirement for polygons and features in general which is the validity of the geometry this is a quite complex argument but I'll try to explain how to use QGIS to detect the invalidity of geometries and how to fix that. So uh, let's start with a bit of theory before doing the actual thing. Let's take a look to two concepts before starting. The first one is the validity itself. The second one is a bit complex, more complex, and it's about geometry simplicity. So, the validity of a geometry is actually applicable only to polygons, as lines and points are very simple and may not be invalid. So they they cannot be invalid actually but polygons may so let's check a bit of theory uh, this is the rules that defines in, that are defined in post GIS but actually it uh, it uh, is from the simple feature from SQL standard that we will see um, in a moment so polygons rings must be closed the rings that define holes should be inside rings that define exterior boundaries so you cannot have a hole which is outside the boundary of the polygon the rings external and, and internal may not touch other rings except at a point and uh, elements of multi polygons may not touch to each other this is really important so self uh, it may mm, lines may that makes a polygon must not self intersect and this is mandatory as algorithms are working with this concept so uh, it must be valid, otherwise the algorithm will not work. Another concept which is really uh, useful to understand is the simplicity, which is actually defined in the simple feature access. It's a standard from the OGC and it's divided in more than a part. The part we are gonna see now is the part one, the common architecture, which actually defines everything about geometry. From the model, let's click it here, as you can see here, this is the model of how geometry are defined here, and it actually goes on defining the representation in textual and binary form, the WKT, WKB, and it, sim is defi it defines also a method which is, is simple that may return one, so this meaning true or false if it's not simple. And this geometry object has no anomalous geometric points such as self intersection or self tangency, which, which are actually forbidden and you may have a geometry which is valid but not simple and it's actually better to have both valid and simple geometries as you can always uh, turn a invalid and a not simple one to a valid a simple one with some techniques you may have you may have to take some choices but it actually is possible you may have to turn a polygon into a multi polygon so a, mu a geometry to a multi geometry and actually um, need to work with your code a, mid um, a bit more but it actually is possible let's take a look 
this is also um, where we define the the operation the relations between geometric objects i'll show you this in a future episode so let's scroll down to the curve definition which is actually here okay perfect and a curve is simple if it does not pass through the same point twice with the possible exception of the two end points so it's a closed ring a line string is an instance of a curve so it's and let's scroll down to line a line string is a curve with a linear interpolation between points and a linear ring is a line string it, that it's both simple and closed close simple so this the first one is actually simple the second one has a self intersection so it's not simple the third one is a closed ring which is simple and the third one is a non simple closed ring it, you may have to split it here and gener actually generate three different line strings to make it simple and valid you may scroll down a little bit this is multiple line string a uh, surface is instead a point is obviously always simple and always valid you may have a surface which is a, let's take a look where it defines the simplicity of that polygons okay this is perfectly fine and this is actually not are examples of objects not representable as single instance of polygon because we here we have a kickback here we have an overlapping side here we have more than we have actually a, a, a leaf uh, something pending from the um, actual polygon and if you take a look to, to this you we also uh, need uh, to check the winding of the polygon and it's actually a, um, a paper that i suggest you to take a look go to the ogc.org homepage and you download the standards here in the ogc page the the one we are talking is this one simple features and you may download the one one to one version and also i suggest you to read the sql option part two now we have a little bit more information about simplicity and validity now we are back to qjs and I've loaded a ship file which I know ha it has uh, some problem and let's take a look to the problems and to um, actually check for geometric um, validity we need to go to the vector menu geometry tools and check validity entry we have here the dialog for check validity algorithm and this algorithm performs a validity check on the geometry of a vector layer so uh, it uses the OGC definition we saw before and uh, it like, we can read here and uh, the definition states that where a polygon is marked as invalid if a self-intersecting ring causes an interior hole if the ignore ring self intersection option is checked, then this row will be ignored for a more lenient validity check to be performed. So let's get, let's uh, leave it unchecked. We actually use the Geos method, which is actually better in my opinion from the QJS one, which is which was the old one. So let's click run and. Let's see what happens. We actually have three more layers here and a valid output for each geometry which is valid, an invalid output for 
geometry which are invalid. So the most important thing is this one, the error output, which show us where there is uh, an issue. As you can see, we have an intersection here that must be solved. To solve this, let's put the editing in the, the layer in editing and let's use the vertex tool. Select the afflicting vertex, vertex and we may just move it a bit. This is actually quite wrong as we are moving a um, vertex which is actually on one and we are not uh, respecting the geometry so we may add a new vertex here and to fix it using this method instead so we are actually limiting the the error solving the the interception okay let's let me save this and let delete the the other layers and let me do another test okay it actually is valid so we now have another problem here something sometimes uh, QJS will tell you only the first one so you need to fix and fix and fix the problem until you actually fix for real so let's move a bit put it in editing for the same reason that before we may do something like that and also we can remove that layer or that vertex or move it a bit so let's save and retest actually when you have digitizing errors you will need uh, a lot of time to fix all the errors okay, let me unselect this oh. hmm. okay now we have an error here a bit time consuming so you need to iterate this once you actually don't have any of these uh, issues so the validity output the valid output is the whole set and not only a partial one but if you ignores error and you work with algorithms you may be blocked as feature 15 from the file has invalid geometry so this um, instance that this sub we we are talking about won't work if you have an invalid geometry so this is really important and it's it's actually really important to have valid geometries so i hope uh, this is an interesting tutorial for you remember to subscribe and add a comment if you like if you want to ask me something and thank you for listening